So there's not been a lot of information out there on how to actually use the new reactor blocks with an actual modular synth. So I'd like to share my experience and the routing I use. So what you need is an audio interface with DC coupled outputs. That can either mean you use a Expert Sleepers ES3 via ADAT or something that can output control voltages. Um, I'm currently using a Motu 16A from the new AVB series. Um, I bought a multi-core snake cable with balanced qu quarter inch jack connectors from Toman, which cost about 20 euros. Um, and I cut off all the connectors on one side and replaced them with unbalanced uh, 1 8 inch jacks to use with my modular. Like this. Alright, so let's take a look at reactor itself. Um, I created eight additional outputs in Reactor, um, three to ten, and then in Ableton I created four additional audio channels, and I'm taking the audio from Reactor. So this will be output three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Um, these will all be routed to the external outputs of my um, Motu 16A. And as you can see, I created a small patch. Um, there's a clock which is synced to Ableton. Um, the gate is going to a sequencer. Um, then the sequencer is sending pitch to output 3, uh, gate to output 4. Um, the gate is also being sent to an ADSR, which then in turn will be sent to a VCA, and the VCA is going to output 5. Uh, also got a LFO going into a VCA and that's going to output 6. Alright, let's listen. Okay, so the patch itself is fairly simple. Um, there's a pitch coming from Reactor which is controlling the uh, mutable instruments edges. Um, this is the LFO coming from uh, Reactor. Then the output goes to uh, Manhattan analog discrete state variable filter. Then the low pass coming from the filter goes into the optodist. Optodisc goes into the VCA. VCA is being triggered by um, an envelope which gets its gate from reactor. And then there is this uh, last cable over here which is um, an actual envelope coming from reactor which is doing the filter modulation on the filter. And then from the VCA it goes to a Pittsburgh modular output where it goes back into Ableton where it's then being processed by both a H9 Max and a H9 Core.